So my name is Johnny Benjamin, I'm 27 and I'm from uh, North West London, Harrow. And I was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder, which is a combination of schizophrenia and uh, depression. And I first started um, having symptoms of mental illness when I was about 10. Uh, I started hearing a voice in my head and I also started to believe that uh, I was being watched by cameras everywhere that I went. Um, looking back, I really wish I could have got some sort of education, um, something either at school or even at university. Not once was I given any sort of um, indicator of what was available to me if I had a mental health issue. When I was 20, I uh, had a psychosis and I, um, I thought that I was being completely um, controlled by the devil and falling down it and, and screaming and shouting and just, um, oh yeah, seriously unwell. Um, and I eventually collapsed. Uh, I really By that point, I, I knew that I needed uh, quite intensive uh, help and probably hospitalisation. Yeah, I was admitted to this psychiatric unit and um, I was diagnosed with schizoaffective disorder and um, absolutely terrifying. And um, I could not come to terms with it. At first, uh, and first week at the hospital was spent on a on suicide watch. So there was someone with you at all time. We had intensive therapy, uh, but it was all group therapy, and I wasn't um, prepared to talk in front of a group. I have got maybe one to one therapy, um, or um, if there had been activities throughout the day, it would have been um, much better for my mental health. I ended up running away from psychiatric unit uh, about three four weeks into my stay and um, I ran away intending to take um, my own to Jungle's Bridge and uh, I was luckily, very luckily I was stopped by um, a passerby. I had um, a new sense of uh, hope and uh, positivity from talking to this stranger that stopped me from taking my life. He was saying things to me like, you know, you can get better, you can get through this, you can overcome University. I eventually um, had private one to one therapy, um, CBT. Therapy. That went really badly because the therapist um, kept missing sessions. I looked for alternative therapy to that point, and that's when I started uh, fighting about mindfulness and practicing mindfulness. I went on a mindfulness retreat, a mindfulness course, and um, that was a real turning point for me. Um, because it gave me ways to manage my mental health and manage symptoms like paranoia and intrusive thoughts. Before I set up a, a vlog where I talk about my mental health and um, I get a lot of young people contact me um, to say that they've fallen through the gap between CAMS and their not mental health service. So to cut them off at a time that is you know, really vital where they get support just doesn't make sense. There needs to be uh, better options for GPs Thing. But just, just something else other than um, medication. I was only told about medication when I went to the GP. Um, I really hope that um, over the next few years we'll see more people talk openly about uh, things such as mental illness, particularly suicide, because suicide you know, is the biggest killer of young men in this country. I also hope that people will be encouraged to talk. To, to get help as well. Um, it's okay to talk, it's, it, it's good to talk, and that effectively, if 